If you see this warning light or tire pressure indicated on your instrument panel, you have a tire pressure monitoring system. One of the key components of this system is a transmitter, which is located inside each tire attached to the rim. It's very important to disconnect this transmitter from the rim and allow it to drop inside the tire before dismounting the tire from the rim. Failure to do this will likely ruin this sensor, which costs $60 to $200 for replacement. To disconnect this transmitter from the rim, remove the valve stem cap and then the nut using the appropriate size deep socket. Once the nut is off, momentarily push down on the valve stem, allowing air to push the washer off. Once the washer is off, push down again on the valve stem, allowing air to escape. Once all the air has escaped, the tire pressure transmitter will drop down inside the tire. Once the transmitter is out of harm's way, you can go ahead, break down the tire as you normally would for repair or replacement, and retrieve the transmitter. Now, go ahead and mount the tire on the rim as you normally would. But before you air up the tire, install the transmitter on the rim from the inside. Install the washer and the nut and torque it to manufacturer specifications. In this case, the specification is 35 inch-pounds. Once installed, seat the bead and air up the tire to manufacturer specifications. Also, be aware that the tire pressure monitoring computer will need to be reprogrammed. This will most likely need to be done by your local tire center or dealership. Thanks for watching. Join us again soon for another low-range off-road tech tip video.